Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Ita for banning my husband's female friend from my house. Not the a-hole throwaway account, English is not my first language, I'm on mobile, I apologize. I, 27F, have been married with my husband, M32, for three years and have been dating for a little over five. My husband has this friend, F31, Mary. They've known each other since they were in high school and she's considered one of the boys, if you may. That basically means she's always invited to all the fishing trips and stuff, which I don't mind at all, I trust my husband. Well, my problems with Mary started when she first found out I'm half Romanian. It started kinda innocently, with her asking me to say certain words, teach her some insults etc which didn't necessarily bother me, but it usually put me on the spot whenever we were out with my husband's group of friends. It only escalated to her googling stuff about Romania and asking me are you a vampire? Do you bite your husband by the neck? To are you a gypsy? I bet you've got some of the gypsy blood in you, which is just blatantly racist. Last week, me and my husband organized a mini barbecue with our friends and Mary was invited by my husband despite me telling him she makes me uncomfortable. He said he had talked to her about her remarks and she's been understanding so it's unlikely she'll say something this time. It was midnight and there were about four of us left and I accidentally spilled some red wine on Mary's jeans when I tripped over a carpet. All hell broke loose. Mary started saying that I'm a witch and I'm trying to ruin her life and this whole thing is part of my ritual and I'm just an immigrant gypsy trying to ruin my husband's life and I've poisoned my husband against her. I started crying and profusely apologized. When she wouldn't drop it, I kicked her out and banned her from ever coming to my house again. Ita for doing this? My husband insists that Mary was just drunk and talking nonsense and he would talk to her. He also told me I'm way too sensitive about my heritage and I'm an a-hole for banning her. Mary has since given me a half-hearted apology but I'm still not okay with her. Edit, I guess this is the update some of you wanted. Sorry I'm still a mess and I'd cow coherent I am. We've talked. He admitted to being in and out of an affair with Mary in the first two years of our relationship and she wanted to win him back I guess. I called my mom to come help me pack some stuff and I'm out. That's it. Mary can have him. I've been gaslit for years and it took a Reddit post to realize. Oh the irony. Thank you Reddit. Edit 2 and probably the last one for a period of time. A lot of people seemed suspicious of Mary and my husband's friendship slash relationship etc and have asked if I ever suspected anything. No, I didn't. Me and my husband had, or I thought we had, a very strong relationship, based on communication and honesty, guess it only applied to me. Also, Mary is very close with all the boys in the said friendship group. The other wives raised concerns in the past but they've all been shut down by the boys in the group or by Mary herself. I guess I always respected their friendship group because they were very close for so long and it felt unfair to change that because of me. As far as I'm aware, the other wives feel the same, plus Mary has been in a LD relationship for about two years and always claimed she's focusing on her career, she's too busy etc so none of us ever saw her as a potential threat. But now it just makes me think there could be more to this story. But I'm tired, as of right now, I am just exhausted. My Romanian witch blood won't let me live until I find out the whole truth but I need time. Thank you to everyone who took the time to reply to my post, message me, even the ones that insulted me further, it was semi funny, and thank you for the awards. I'm sending virtual hugs to all of you. Aveti Grijer Devoy. NTA I think your husband needs to re-evaluate the fact that he'd be friends with someone that's so disrespectful to his own wife. Also just drunk is not an excuse. If that is how you are when drunk, then don't get drunk. I'd like to thank. Facepalm I think the saying goes drunk words are sober thoughts. 
A drunk man's word is a sober man's thought. Or in this case, woman's. Or a drunk mouth speaks with a sober tongue. Cat sibling. Cat siblings. Meow. Cat, D. You think you are cooler with your glasses, huh? Because you are. How do I get a neon glowy kitty? God I really hate this saying so much. As someone who has struggled with alcoholism in the past, let me tell you, this is not true at all. That being said, drunk or not, a person is responsible for the state they are in and how they act. Being drunk isn't an excuse for how she acted, and her actions have consequences. NTA. I'm also a recovering alcoholic and never said anything while drunk that I didn't think while sober. It's not a psychotropic drug that alters your thinking, it just lowers your inhibitions. Um no, and if you personally have never said anything drunk that you didn't think, cool, but that doesn't apply to everyone. Like you said, it lowers your inhibitions. It doesn't act as a tell-all truth serum. For someone really drunk, it literally just makes it so you don't care about the consequences of what you say or do. Plus your mental functioning is lowered greatly, so clearly you're not thinking of all aspects of something like a sober person would. For example, if you have an amazing, fantastic relationship with someone, and one night that other person makes a joke or says something that rubs you the wrong way, a plastered person might say they hate them, but that's not their sober thoughts. You're angry at the moment, and the alcohol prevents you from properly assessing the situation and gauging the proper level of emotion to respond with, so instead you say something over the top. That's not acting on sober thoughts, that's acting on drunk emotion. It's still not okay to get drunk to that point that you can't control yourself, but that's not at all the same as saying drunk words are sober thoughts. This saying mean things when you're drunk doesn't mean you actually believe them or they're your sober thoughts. Some people drunk and angry will say hurtful things on purpose they don't actually believe but don't care about the consequences, they just want to hurt the person. That said, in this situation she's made similar comments sober, so we know she wasn't just drunk. But if it was her first time saying comments like that we don't need to assume it's what she has believed this entire time just because she was drunk. Either way she needs to be held responsible, being drunk isn't an excuse. And in this particular situation Op's husband is betraying his wife by not standing by her. She's NTA and I demand marriage therapy or a separation over it. That's so disrespectful to his own wife, it's her home as well. She has a right to set boundaries with people who are rude and for her husband not to stand by them but chose his friend? Oh hell no lol. I'm with you on this. When I was drunk once, I was talking with a friend and told him how much I was into another friend's sister and wanted advice on how to make that happen. Thing is, I wasn't into her. Never was before, never was after. To this day, I have zero idea where that came from. Because to your point, that could have started some unfortunate drama among my friends group if the guy I was talking to started spreading it around. Kurt Vonnegut tells a story about a bunch of frou-frou yuppies throwing a party and there's one guy who always gets way too drunk and tells everyone what he hates about them and they all think it's hilarious because he's drunk and obviously doesn't mean it. Then, later in the evening he's even more wasted and telling them everything he loves about them and they all love it because they know it's true causes everyone knows drunk words are sober thoughts. The truthfulness of drunken ramblings more often than not comes down to what you want to believe about what's being said than what's genuinely inside the drunk person's heart. NTA. She's being racist and your husband should be standing up for you. Maybe down the line if her behavior improves and you forgive her you could consider rescinding the ban, but unless that happens you're doing a reasonable thing and he should be in your corner on this one. Honestly, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be okay with her. What I didn't mention in the post is that these remarks have been going on for years. For example, Mary watched that movie 365 days around March and apparently two friends call each other Kuver and started calling me that. In Polish, that could be considered a joking way to address a close friend. 
However, in Romanian is considered a derogatory, it means prostitute but like, worse, term and pretty much no one would use the word when referring to a friend. When told to stop, Mary said I'm too sensitive. I am just tired of being insulted. It means the same thing in Polish. It's not a friendly thing for like 99.999% of people. Mary is terrible and I'm sorry your husband has misplaced loyalties. I'm sorry, I was just assuming that there could be a different connotation to the word in Polish as from what I gathered, the two girls refer to each other as such in that particular movie. I apologize if I offended any Polish speaker. It's probably like in English, calling a woman b sich. It's derogatory, but two close friends may do so, because of the friendship. Someone in the comments pointed out it's more like the word cnt. Your husband's friend is racially insulting you and then they're telling you you're being too sensitive, that's not on. At this point you need to have a serious conversation with your husband. He's not supporting you and he's letting you be verbally abused in his presence. He shouldn't want to be friends with this woman anymore, she's had enough chances. Bet her husband defends Mary against all the people calling her an asshole on this thread because how dare anyone say anything, Mary didn't know, unamused face. NTA. Why does your husband want to be friends with someone who is so awful to you? He insists that that's just how Mary eats and Mary doesn't understand your Romanian roots, why not educate her? Well, because every time I tried, she'd just say I'm boring. Have you said that to him? She sounds like a dog whistle to be honest. Yes, I have. I honestly don't know why he's acting like this around Mary. Every time she does something wrong, he seems to just not acknowledge it. This sounds like Mary is acting like a hugely jealous girlfriend. And because her behavior has been enabled for so long, she feels entitled to threaten whomever she chooses. She doesn't like that you are sent a place for you husband. Not her. Your husband needs to grow a pair here and acknowledge that whatever Mary may have been allowed to get away with before, that shit stops now. Ask how he would feel if you had a male friend that was allowed to insult him in his own home. While you went away on trips with him, he needs to step in here and speak to Mary, with you, as a couple. You both need to make it clear that none of this BS is acceptable. She is racist, offensive, rude and being drunk is never an excuse. She is being nothing more than a toxic bully and that you both have no problem in removing her from your lives. A friend would not do this to her friend's wife. A husband would not put his friend's feelings before his wife. Ask your husband which woman he has married. You are not playing mistress to her. She sounds like she's trying to play it to you though. Husband needs to stop enabling her behavior and making excuses. Mary needs to step off entirely until she can learn to be respectful. Or not be welcome at all. Your house. Your rules. Do not let this go. Edit, just to add, what exactly do you think she would be like if you had children? They would have a mixed heritage, is she going to potentially bully them too? I can just see how this will keep going if you don't stop it. Second edit, thank you kind strangers for the awards X. Edit 3, up I have just read your update. I'm so sorry you had to find this out in such an awful way. You deserve so much better. Do not think the other wives and girlfriends won't be tearing her down over this, and your husband. It will re-evaluate the whole friendship group. Certainly no female in this group will trust her again. Sending you big internet hugs and I wish you a peaceful recovery from this. I truly hope you find happiness in the future 20. Update, Ita for banning my husband's female friend from my house. Update link to my previous post. Hey Reddit, it's me, the witch. I thought I'd update you because some interesting stuff happened since my post. Me and my husband, we have talked a lot, but the subject of Mary always seems to be a danger zone. He told me he isn't prepared to truly talk to me about Mary. We have tried to mend the relationship but after a few therapy sessions, I realized I carry way too much resentment towards my ex for any kind of relationship to work. 
Since my ex was shutting me out, I decided to speak to Mary, as I found out through the grapevine that she wanted to tell her part of the story. Mary admitted she went through some situationships, by her description, with my ex and a couple of his other friends. The issue runs deeper though, when confronted as to why exactly she wanted me out so badly, Mary confessed that she actually got pregnant in high school but she either doesn't know who the father is or didn't want to say it outright, I can't know for sure but it's supposedly one of the guys in my ex's group of friends. I guess the most likely option is that the father is my ex and she didn't deny it. The child in question was put up for adoption and apparently found Mary as his slash her biological mother a few months prior to the wine incident which caused her to mourn the family she had to give up on in high school and sent her on a downright spiral of depression and anxiety and made me the sole recipient of her hate, because I was the only obstacle in her way of her happy ending. By my ex's account, he had no idea Mary was pregnant in high school because she told everyone she's doing some studying abroad for a few months and no one saw her or knew what was happening. On to the which part of the issue, Mary said she went through a phase where she was hanging out with self-proclaimed witches during high school to recover from the pain caused by having to give up her child, the PPD etc. The witches gave her all sorts of ointments and and all kinds of readings about the child slash the child's future etc. Turns out, the witches were a fraud, which sort of gave her the firepower to hate me even more and possibly fueled her fantasy. I'm honestly not sure how much of it is true but here we are. In light of everything I discovered, I have to admit I do feel sorry for Mary. After seeing her perspective and talking with her, I can understand where she's coming from but ultimately I am not her friend and the situation is none of my business, at least not after it's been hidden from me all this time. Plus, her being dealt a bad hand does not mean she has to take everyone down with her. I haven't been in contact with Mary and my ex since the divorce finalized in February 2021. I also did not keep in contact with my ex-friend's wives longer term, I appreciated the support but it seems like my situation triggered quite a few arguments and relationship problems and everyone sort of agreed to keep to themselves. Thank you again everyone. Much love. What a steaming pile of hot garbage. I'm impressed with how gracious you could be to Mary, who didn't deserve it. I'm also impressed that you put so much effort into your marriage before realizing that it was truly over. You handled this with style and grace and I wish you the very best. You're way too kind. I wish you happiness. Mary sounds delusional, first with the witch accusation and then with the claim that she hung out with witches during high school. Seriously, this lady is showing real signs of psychosis and a complete lack of awareness of it that also implies it is going untreated. Not your problem, but you should probably be prepared for surprises with this one. She was a stupid teenager but every man involved grew up and married and still kept hanging with her. Honestly, I feel like their wives should also divorce them. Lots of girls go through a witchy stage in high school. They buy crystals and tarot cards and books by Margot Adler or Zed Budapest. They watch The Craft and Sabrina. Don't forget Silver Raven Wolf, saw a lot of her books floating around back in the early 2000s. Scott Cunningham, Laurie Cabot, and anything to do with moon magic. I was one of those girls in the late 90s till, well, now. And then they become Wiccan and claim some long lineage. And these asshole guys are happy to take advantage of her. Yeah. This is where I'm confused. It sounds like she isn't stable and this group of guys have been taking advantage of her for years. They are all super creepy. This is the part that's disturbed me the most. It sounds like Mary isn't all there and these guys are preying on her vulnerability. It doesn't absolve her behavior but it definitely makes those guys very suspicious. I mean, I hang out with witches. The ones she was hanging out with were either fraudsters claiming to do stuff they knew wasn't possible or they were delusional about their own abilities, but Wiccans are a real thing lol. Only as real as any other LARP. Mary sounds delusional, first with the witch accusation and then with the claim that she hung out with witches during high school. Seriously, this lady is showing real signs of psychosis. 
No, she's not. That's not what psychosis means. She is deeply disturbed, yes, be it paranoid or schizophrenic or a myriad of other possibilities, but there's nothing in this post that suggests psychosis. Witches are pagans, and heaps of teenagers turn to paganism. Why is that delusional? Paganism is not a form of psychosis, it's a religion. One that has been around a lot longer than many of today's religions, so I ask again, how is that delusional? What makes it delusional is the persecutory accusations combined with the tall tales. Does Mary sound like your average Wiccan to you? Jesus I wonder how many of the circle she slept with and how many of the guys are now having very awkward conversations with their wives. You are definitely better out of that marriage. Thank you. Less than three. This. I also hope all the other ladies cut off Mary and are looking at divorces. It sounded like Mary is sleeping with multiple guys in the group, which is why all of them are fighting now. I also think it's weird Op's husband doesn't seem to feel bad about any of this. He was cheating. And lying to Op this whole time. This is something common in our country, I'm Romanian, many women are stuck in these extremely toxic relationships and they try to deny this up to the point they get cheated, slapped, beaten or killed. Because they are scared to leave. This is the mentality of Romanian women especially in the countryside or elderly women. It's been like this for centuries. Once my grandma told me to listen to my husband, she meant to do what he says, to be submissive to him, anyway. Basically I should treat him like he is the king and I am a slave or something. This is just a side comment, maybe it doesn't have to do anything with her situation but I feel like it's in our blood to go as far as we can to save our marriages slash relationships. To op, bravo, I facetse tribuia. I know you understand this, smiley face. All the best. I'm glad you're out of that mess, op. Damn this went deep. So she was messing around off and on with more than one of the guys in the group. What is strange to me is that why would your husband even push to have Mary around knowing that he had a sexual relationship with her at some point? It's almost like he wanted to get caught? Hope you're doing okay with yourself. I've realized in time that this particular group of friends has issues. It's a complicated dynamic but I can reassure you all that everyone affected by it is doing okay now. You can say emotionally immature codependents. We won't tell anyone. It sounds like they might have trauma bonded over their battle with a sewer dwelling clown and or giant spider monster. I'm so glad I'm not the only one getting major it vibes. Oh god. Now I'm imagining a sequel that's not a horror novel, it's just the story of this adopted kid trying to find their way in the world after learning their bio parents conceived them during a preteen gangbang while fighting a supernatural and homicidal clown. That's a sequel I never knew I needed but now you've said it. Oh Stephen King probably has it in the back pocket to tie in with a current or future book. Like how Dr. Sleep follows the kid Danny from The Shining as an adult. Someone get Stephen King on the phone. I have to ask if you told the wives what you learnt as you say you no longer kept in contact with them. Yes, I didn't keep my situation a secret, I felt like I didn't owe privacy to anyone involved. They're aware and are working through it slash had worked through it. I can't say exactly what happened because it's not my story to tell and I only know snippets but I can assure you that no one was blindsided by me. Smile. I read your original post and I just wanted to say that your entire reaction and everything, too cool and smooth. You handled everything so gracefully, at least from what I can see. I'm glad you're out of that shitty situation. All the best for the future, I know you'll smash it. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.